our Tuesday morning check-in at home with the girls. This is uh, Ellie right behind me in the leopard skin. Um, pretty good week so far. Ended last week on a good note. Uh, got a couple small runs in this week, dealing with a little bit of tightness in the back of my leg. Uh, I'm trying to get some ice on it and um, deal with that. This kid's tackling me. She's like a little parrot. Um, so I got a couple small runs in. Last night we had our... Um, uh, Safety Harbor Run Club at Nolan's Pub went pretty good. A little, ch uh, not really chilly, but we had a little bit of light rain, so it wasn't too bad. But it kind of cleared up for the run tonight. We have our Dunedin uh, group run. Should be good. Fifty six degree weather tonight. Should have a blast. There's Charlotte back in there, um, so it should be uh, should be great weather for that. A couple things I'm doing today, company wise. Um, and try and set up an event for a run on uh, Saturday. We're gonna try and do a just a small trail run um, that people can come out and have fun and join in. Um, and then after that, we got the Western States Lottery. Pretty excited about that. Um, so it should be a good good afternoon. And this kid's getting angry at me. Hey, it's Wednesday. Uh, I don't even know what the date is. I think it's the uh, twenty eighth. Uh, just out in the middle of a seven mile run. I'm um, trying to get some miles in. It's close, put me closer to the 200 mile mark. Um, I wanted a while to fresh my mind, kind of give like a rate support of Penhody that I ran a couple weeks ago, um, which I did finish, which was good. So it was cool. Um, I attempted another 100 mile race, uh, Umstead, back in 2017. Bowed out at uh, mile 70, just felt tired. Uh, mentally, I put myself out of the race early. Um, so, coming into Penhody, um, I wanted a qualifier. I wanted a close qualifier to Florida, and uh, Penhody is what I chose. Um, picked two buddies to go with me to crew, or two buddies volunteered to go with me to crew. My buddy John, who had just come off the grindstone uh, the month before, which was an amazing race, how we finished it. Props to him. Um, so, he was there, my buddy uh, Luis. Um, I, um, he had just come off an of Arkansas Traveler, uh, finished that. So both these guys were familiar with the 100 mile, um, and they were there to crew and pace me, which was which was awesome. So I uh, came into Penhody, uh, had three goals. A, I was shooting for the moon, sub 24. My B goal was um, 25 hours, and then my C goal was to finish. Um, Weather was kind of cold, but that didn't bother me. That actually probably worked a little bit better on that. Uh, race started. My goal was to take it easy. Um, I wasn't going to force it like I did Umstead. Take it easy, and then if I got to mile 80, 85, I had anything left, push it push it from there. So the race started. Um, you get kind of binded up in the, in the beginning. And um, got put myself comfortably and an area where we were running 15 minute miles, uh, which was very comfortable. Uh, my goal was to not run the uphill, hike the uphills, run the flats, and um, hike the downhills. I didn't want to run the downhills in the beginning and shoot out my quads, so that was my goal. I kept that pretty good. Came in through mile six, saw my crew, um, went back out. My other goal was to fuel really well. And so I started eating from the beginning. I think I had peanut butter and jelly at the first aid station, headed out from there. After mile six, I wouldn't see my crew till 18. Um, kept a steady pace through those miles. Uh, ran with some Florida people, a guy from Gainesville, some people from Lakeland, which was fun. Just, you know, talking to them, trying to keep my mind off of actually running and, um, making time go by quicker. Came through the mile 18 aid station. Uh, my crews said they were worried about me. I told them that uh, um, wasn't anything like I expected. Um, a lot of ups and downs, um, but I was mustering through. Uh, from 18, I wouldn't see my crew until I hit mile 40, which was the top of the biggest climb. And uh, so I headed out from there, kept steady pace, um, didn't try and move up or anything, kept the same game plan, take it easy. Um, ran, you know, into 40 right about sunset, 40 mile right at sunset, and I was able to pick up my pacer there. Um, grabbed my pacer, we headed out from there, had some runnable sections from there. Um, came in the 50, uh, feeling pretty good. I remember sitting down at 50 
in getting up to go back out and I was just had the cold shakes. I just started shivering. Um, but I came back uh, mile 50 to 55. I just started falling asleep. Um, just really, really tired. Came into the aid station at about 55, 56, grabbed some coffee and then felt good after that from, uh, you know, right about mile 60. We started not pushing it, but keeping steady through the night, which was, which was good. So I cruise through mile 60 at 65. I picked up John to take me the last 35 miles. Um, and through the night we moved steady. Um, still running the flats. I was still able to run. I think we, you know, overnight passed, uh, almost 60 people from mile 60 into the finish. Not that I was trying to do that. I just kept the same pace and I think everyone else was kind of tired and slowing up. And so that plan that I had, um, was good. The other big thing was to it. I was eating and I was eating a ton of food, which saved my legs and brought my legs back. Um, came into mile 85 just as the sun was coming up and uh, I knew the last 15 were a nice uh, steady downhill to the finish and so it came into 85 fueled up headed out and I just started running I was done I was ready for the race to be over and we started going and notes were my last my fastest miles was 85 to the finish um, cruise you know we were knocking off 12s 13s um, just cruising into the finish came in through mile 93 uh, aid station refueled got back out and again we just cruised to the finish uh, got some cool video of, of the last mile the last mile uh, you know I ran um, a 10 minute mile that was my fastest mile by far of the whole race Woo! and so that right there gave me some confidence finished um, 27 hours um, 22 minutes and 94th overall which i just wanted to finish so i wasn't worried about the place and stuff but it was good yeah, was it was good mile. you know a lot of confidence <laughs> running mile, running the last 15 of a 100 miler felt really good um, happy give me go. some Come confidence on. going into Bring long haul in a couple weeks no, a couple weeks now a couple months and uh, time, so it should be good Congrats, dude. That's it, man. Congrats. All right, guys. We're logging out. So one last thing about the race. Um, kind of got a little starstruck at the race. Um, got to see uh, one of the guys I look up to, Jeff Browning. Jeff Browning's a really nice guy. You know, I asked him for a picture, and he had no problem taking a picture with me. So just a wrap up of my week, um, Thursday I didn't run, um, Friday I um, knocked out a six mile run in the middle of the day, Friday was the last day of the month, uh, my goal was to run 200 miles, um, something I'd never done before, I knocked out 202 miles, which uh, I was pretty excited about, granted uh, 100 miles of it was in one run, but still got it done, very happy about that. Saturday got up, uh, we had a run in Hammock Park. I knocked out an easy four miles, came home, um, had a buddy Luis over to watch the Western States Lottery. Uh, I had one ticket in there, Luis had four tickets in there. Unfortunately, neither one of us got in. So it's Saturday being December 1st, um, I set forth a challenge. Um, kind of comes from Ricky Gates, Ricky Gates out in Saint, uh, San Francisco, he's running every street in San Francisco in a month and I figured if you can do San Francisco I was going to attempt to run every uh, street in Dunedin uh, within a month so I started Saturday um, ran Saturday night Sunday night um, Sunday afternoon I did something pretty cool uh, my cousin's um, husband got us tickets to the Bucks game uh, too bad I hate football, um, but they were field tickets, which was pretty cool. So we went and uh, watched the Bucks um, practice on the field. Um, we actually left at, at, at kickoff. Um, 
kind of laugh because I think I was more 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 excited about meeting Jeff Browning than probably meeting any of the Bucks players. So last week was a pretty good week. Got some good mileage in, uh, thirty something miles. Um, got some stuff done with the uh, with the Christmas 5K race coming up. Got a busy week coming up the next two weeks, and um, we'll see how it goes.